watched um, a video of Lisa Eldridge from like nine years ago and she did a Marilyn Monroe look on one of her models and honor of that decade I'm using the Max Factor. Let's see how this works. This was a very inexpensive brush and it just intrigued me. It's not my usual kind of brush. I don't usually use a flat brush like this, but I thought it was interesting. I love this pure. I love this pure. It's two-sided. It's a it's a bronzer and a high and a concealer on one side. And you see? You just go like that. I just wet it with my rose water bottle. It's so cute, right? I need a more of coverage today. So I'm pulling out the other Max Factor Miracle Touch. It's really good. And look, this is concealer and foundation. This has more coverage. I like that. Yeah, and then you could go like this and put it under your eyes, you know, if you didn't get it with the brush. It's really good. Let me show you the two colors. This is bronze and this is golden. And I'll show you the swatch. Golden and bronze. See the difference? It has the, the sponge for the top. So if you don't have an applicator, you just put it on with that. All right. I need to do the lip first because it's going to be intense. Marilyn's makeup artist overdrew her lips. I'm making a round lip. Wait, I didn't know Marilyn used my lip trick. Look at the look at the outer corners. The black dotted line shows the original lip line. To make her lips look fuller, Marilyn placed lipstick with a lip brush, never a pencil. You get a lot more control with the brush and smoother lines slightly above the dashed black line and extended the corners past her natural corner to make her upper lip appear bigger than her lower lip. The corners of the top lip have to extend past the corners of the bottom lip and the white sections are where she put the white eyeshadow and that's what I forgot to do. <laughs> I'm going to do a white eyeshadow which I hate on me. I don't like white eyeshadow on me. That's what she had on her eyes. I don't know if this is going to come out all right. This may all go in the garbage. <laughs> I love copying one of Lisa Eldridge's makeups. She's a great makeup artist. Okay, so I'm just going to use this one. Now, Marilyn had her teeth fixed, her nose fixed. So far, I used in light and then Silk Cream. Silk Cream is just going to go in here. Usually they use the brown or black eyeliner. A specific brand she used was Elizabeth Arden. It's rarely formed into a cat eye, but rather sloping downwards or straight out to create a half sleepy bedroom eye. Maybe this look will come out okay. Who knows? <laughs> I have these in my Etsy store. They are dupes for the ice cream museum that Sephora collabed with to make these brushes, they, the cutest. This is Hula. Hula, yes. <laughs> Hulu! No, Hulu is where I watch my shows. I'm going to use this too, my pure. I just go all around. Oh, this is the year of the neck for me. We are going to find something to tighten our necks. A little mare brush. I think I got it on DH gate. It's probably not real. I mean, it can't be. Not for the price that I paid. So we go around. Oh, when I did my hair, do you want to see the back? 
So I'll show you what I did my hair with. I did my roots with this one, 54 light golden brown color silk Revlon. Another day I did highlights and balayage all over and some ombre. This is the best. Easy. So easy. And they even have a big applicator that comes with it. All right, we're going to do this glowy thing on top of the foundation. This is by Milani. It's called Bright Side. Oh, it's glowy. It's glowy. Oh, yeah. This is great. It doesn't, it doesn't show your wrinkles. Now, we're doing Marilyn's brow. It's that little triangle up there. Lady Danger. Ooh, my favorite red by MAC. I bought, always bought MAC lipsticks before the pandemic. And Lisa said that they blotted and then applied more. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, because my eyes are hooded, I like to soften the cat eye with some shadow. Let's see. Oh, we need we need eyes. All right, let's try this. Dip in the mascara for the second eye. Always use a fresh dip. The makeup that I put on here, I can't even get it off. Look at that. I can't even remove it. Wow. I wonder if it says it's long lasting. That's wild. I get really can't see what I'm doing. Now I just gotta get the oh, these wings. Marilyn used highlighter. Now I'm going to try this, which I showed you in another video. I love that. That is great. I see my hoods are hanging, so I have to put a little more shadow. <laughs> We're in this together, okay? So nobody's aging in reverse. We're all going up. So we all have the same problem somewhere along the line. I am gonna put this. Oh, there's another thing Marilyn did too. She put another like this. Another line like that. Oh, and then she did this. Oh no, it's too big. What is that? What is that? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. It's uh, it's permanent. <laughs> wow. All right, I think I need a pencil. I'll use this Lancome pencil. I think she had it here. Oh, and one other thing she had was white shadow in between these two lines. Girls, if you haven't gotten this, what are you waiting for? Do you want everything to disappear? <laughs> you make your face disappear, I swear. Oh boy, watch this. Oh, it just, it smells good. It just sprays so soft. I've never, never had any of these sprays spray like that. Now, I, my hair's kind of blonde. 
it's kind of lighter um, but we're just we're not going for the hair we just make believe maybe maybe if I wore it up no but what do you think this is Marilyn's tricks the triangular eyebrow the white shadow the black liner a little liner here to, to reflect the lashes highlight dewy highlight red lips and a beauty mark.